when you build something intentionally and you use it consistently, the outcomes that you desire are inevitable. People often ask, why do you work out at home and not at the gym? Well, number one, I'm a big proponent of being able to eliminate the difficult conditions of actually making training, working out more consistent. When you get the proper equipment, it's amazing how it makes training fun because you have the ability to actually train the right way. What's up, Own It community? How we doing? It is so great to have you back and welcome to the Own It show. And if it's your first time here, Again, welcome. It is so good to have you. And I really encourage you, if what I say today inspires you, kind of drives you in a direction to take action differently than you typically have, then all I ask is that you share this with somebody. And I think today's message is going to be something a little bit different than what we've heard before, because I've had a lot of people reaching out asking, how did I do my gym setup? What does this look like to build out a performance center in your home? What does it look like to have something that is really useful going to get you in great shape and ultimately able to be functional at the same time. And I'm going to break down everything that I have inside my space, how I built it, why I built it, why I did certain things the way that I did so that you can ultimately replicate it and do the same things possible. If you are going to go back, we have about 300 episodes of past people who have come on with amazing stories to help you take ownership of your health and step into a life that is different. And so again, if this is something that is is up your wheelhouse that you're looking for of how do I build this? How do I make this something exciting? You're not gonna wanna miss today because we're gonna solve a lot of problems for you. And I think make your journey in building a facility at your home really, really easy. So first off is people often ask, why do you work out at home and not at the gym? Well, number one, I'm a big proponent of being able to eliminate the difficult conditions of actually making training, working out more consistent. And the number one thing is often that, well, I don't have a space or number two, I have to get in my car and go to my, go to the gym or the gym's closed on certain days or the class schedule doesn't work for me. There's all of these different types of excuses that come up over and over and over again. Not to mention, when you start to look at some of these gyms that uh, are of really high quality, right? They've got a sauna, they've got a steam room, they've got some type of cold plunge. They've, If it's a CrossFit gym or if it's just a regular gym, your memberships are running anywhere between $250 and $350 a month. That's what I've seen. And that's just for your base level equipment. That's not any type of special recovery tools. That's not any massages added in. That's not any uh, smoothies from the smoothie bar at the front. That's just simply to go there. And so when you think about that, I'm spending somewhere in the neighborhood of three to $5,000 a year on a gym membership. I'm like, okay, cool. I better be using that thing. I better have full access to that thing. I better come in and it feels great in there. Or you could build something at home. You could build something that you have full access to, something that you can play whatever music you want. You can have something where you can have people over and train with them to be your accountability people. You can have something that is just easier to have access to. And that's what we did. We built this facility in our backyard that is just so cool. The fact that we can go and have people over and work out, we can have access to it whenever we want. And if you follow me on social media, you see all the wake up the sun posts that I do in the morning. You usually see what I'm doing from a training standpoint every single day. But what that's done is it's actually caused people to say, Justin, how did you build this? What equipment did you use? How did you actually go about it? What key pieces do I need for my home gym so that I'm not just having to spend four or $5,000 on something, but rather I can get the four or five key pieces to build something really powerfully. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the good, better, best model. Good, better, best. What does it look like to have enough so that you can get everything done that you need? What does it look like to have everything that you need plus a little bit more so that you've got a little bit more um, flexibility in terms of different exercise modalities and things that you're doing? And then what's the best, like where I have everything that I could ever want, everything I could ever need and not have any issues. So when we think about this, good, better, best, and I'm coming out with a series in uh, the new year. It's going to be launching on the first of the new year. And it's really going to be taking us through the five key points 
that we need to look at when we talk about health optimization. So there's going to be one episode that's solely on strength and conditioning. There's going to be one that's solely on nutrition. There's going to be one that's solely on sleep. There's going to be one that's solely on stress and recovery. And then there's going to be one on how do we actually integrate and build these habits powerfully. So that's going to be a five-week series. Each episode is probably going to be close to an hour and a half, two hours. It's going to be very different than you typically are used to uh, in these 25 to 45-minute shows. However... The reason I say that is because the good, better, best model is going to fit in and really help you maximize what we're going to talk about in that series. So when we think about good, well, actually, when we think about good, better or best, we have to make sure that we're tackling three things. Number one, do we have something that's going to help us with conditioning? Number two, do we have something that's going to help us with strength? And number three, do we have something that's going to help us just with being able to move and be able to do some different forms of exercise? So when we think about the good model, when we think about the good model, we're going to want to end up having something other than running. Because I know a lot of people when they run, there's, uh, and, and we're running outside, there's weather that comes up. There's maybe you just aren't in a neighborhood that's like awesome for running, isn't very conducive. You're close to some major streets, some major roads, whatever it may be. So I want something other than running because running's free. Running is a very simple, easy way to do it. A very simple, easy way to go about it. You can run on your street. You can go over to a track, something like that. But we're going to want one of three implements, one of three. You don't need to have all three, but one of three. You're going to want to either get a ski erg. You're going to want to be able to get a bike. You're going to want to be able to get a rower. Those are going to be your three implements. You're going to want to have one of three of. Now, a ski erg is an upper body only implement. A rower is a full body implement. And then the bike that I would recommend is from Assault. It's an Assault bike. So it is, again, a full body movement. So the only one that is not a full body movement, the only one that isn't really going to incorporate something a little bit longer is your ski erg. And so that's going to be a little bit more specific. So when we're thinking about good, better, best, you're going to want one of those. My recommendation is to go with either the concept to rower, the concept to ski erg, or you're going to want to go with the assault bike. So one of three, one of three. And what that's going to give you is it's going to give you an amazing conditioning tool. On your rower, you can go for intervals. You can go for something a little bit longer. On your assault bike, you can go for intervals. You can go for something a little bit longer. And then you have the freedom to go and do your runs outside. So you have two immediately, just by getting one, you have two conditioning forms that you can do on any given day. So that's the first thing for, for your good. The second thing I would do is I would get a set of power blocks. So what power blocks are? They're adjustable dumbbells. And the adjustable dumbbells go from five all the way up to 125 pounds and end up taking up about a foot and a half by a foot and a half square space. So not a lot of space at all. It's an extremely small footprint. They're adjustable simply with a pin that pops in, pops out. So easy, so quick, and they are so well made. So that is super easy way to do it. And then the other thing I would get from Power Block is I would get the bench and I would get their bands and I would get a med ball set that's 10 and 20 pounds heavy. That right there is literally your good model. You would have a cardio piece of equipment, an assault bike, or the Concept2 rower. Those are going to be your two best bets right there immediately. You're going to want your Power Blocks your adjustable dumbbells, and then you're going to want to make sure that you get your bands and uh, your med balls from there as well. Those are the five things that you can put into your home. You're going to have it for less than a thousand bucks. And you're going to be like, man, I have a great setup. I can get really fit. I can get really strong by doing everything I need just with those implements. So that is your good model. Now, when you're looking at this, I want to make sure, again, that everybody's getting the benefit. So from concept two, you can use the code ONIT, and that's going to give you 10% off everything. If you go to the assault bike, and that's something that you're wanting to use, again, just making sure that everything that we do is, is always kind of giving back to you guys and making sure that we can do things the right way. So if you do the assault bike from assault, it's ONIT bike. And then if you do the rower from Assault, it's own it rower. So both of those are available to you, making sure that we're giving discounts when we can. And then anything from Power Block, just use the code own it 10. Own it 10. So own it for anything from Concept 2, own it bike for Assault, own it rower 
from assault and then own it 10 the number 10 anything from from uh, power block so that's going to be your good model once you go to better better is taking the exact same thing that we did but now what i would say is i would want you to actually have both i would want you to have the rower as well as the assault bike because now you're going to be able to get into two different components now you're starting to be able to use a bike that's a certain modality you're going to be able to use a rower that's a different modality obviously your rower is actually working a little bit more on the back muscles when you're rowing your bike obviously a little bit more legs and upper body push pull and so you're just going to be able to also start to train for things like deca races or spartan races or high rocks races a little bit more specifically i would have the the assault bike as well as the rower i would still do your power blocks i would still your do your your medicine balls and i would still do your bench from power block but now what i would start to do is i would go to either titan or rogue and i would get a rack and what this rack would do is the rack is going to allow you to do more squats more lunges using barbells and so from a rogue or titan i would get a barbell with some weight plates and that's going to allow you to do, again, a little bit more of the free weight type of things. Now, the same motions you can do with a barbell, you can do with your dumbbells. But there's only a certain weight limit that you can do with dumbbells, right? 125 in each, in each hand, so it gets you up to 250. And you're holding them. So it's not as easy as a barbell, and you can do some different movements. So that's how I would go to better. And then once we go into best, best changes a little bit, because at best... I would want you to have a ski erg. I would want you to have the bike and I would want you to have the rower so that now we could literally run high rock simulations. We could do a, just an upper body focus if we wanted to. We could do just a lower body focus if we wanted to. We could get very, very specific. The next thing I would add is I would add the assault runner. And what this is, is a self-propelled treadmill. And so there's no, uh, you don't need electricity to run this thing. You are literally self-propelling it. So the higher you run on it, the harder you run on it, the faster it'll go. And so it really becomes powerful to do these indoor runs or sprint work or anything. So I love the assault runner. That's going to be your best. And then instead of getting a rack and free weights from Titan or Rogue, what I would suggest is going to something called OxyFit. And this is why this is the best model because Oxifit runs about 5,000. Again, we've got a great code that gives you a lot of uh, discounted items off of this. But what Oxifit becomes? Oxifit becomes this tool that is everything for you. Everything. It's got your bench. It's got your bar. It's got your cable machine. It's got everything. But here's the unique thing about it. You don't need a single weight because everything is AI generated. So as you get stronger and the speed of movement of your arm, the speed of movement of your squat, the speed of movement of your lunge, the speed of whatever movement you're doing, a bench press, a row, it actually adjusts to you so that if you were going to do eight reps of anything, it would adjust based on the speed of movement. So every single exercise you do, every single rep you do, every single set you do is based around getting you stronger, maintaining proper form, making sure that what you're doing is actually helping you with the direction you're trying to go. You're trying to get fit. And so how many of us ever, when we're using dumbbells or using barbells or using weights, we're like, man, how much weight should I use? Or should I use more today? Or am I progressing? Or am I getting stronger? Well, Oxfit makes it impossible not to get stronger, makes it impossible not to be moving in the right direction. Because when we start to use this thing, it actually uses AI to adjust the weight. So even from one rep to another, It'll adjust weight and resistance based upon the speed of movement from your previous rep. So it's incredible. It's an incredible tool. It's incredible technology. And so if you think of the space that you'll need, I say at bare minimum, you need a 12 by 12 room. If you have a 12 by 12 room, you have a ton of space to literally set up the best model that I just spoke about. You'll be able to set up your Oxifit. You'll be able to set up your ski, your bike, and your rower. It'll have a great footprint. You'll be able to put your dumbbell set from power block in there and your bench. That is a full setup that 10,000 square foot gyms have, but you have it in 144 square feet. 
it's really powerful when you start to take a 12 by 12 room and you turn it into something that is purposeful, something that's intentional and something that is really well designed. That is why I wanted to do this is because so many people think, I mean, people think that we've got this massive space. We've got a shipping container, 20 feet by 12 feet. So it's about 250 square feet and it's set up as your best model. And we have more than enough room. It's ample room. And as you look at this, it's really, really great to be able to have a space like this to do everything that we need. And so I walk outside in the morning. Elise walks outside in the morning. We have friends come over. Typically, I've got three or four guys working out in there with me. And it's and it's just great to be able to have everything, to be able to have space for everything and to be able to now do it ourselves. And so your good, better, best model is where I suggest that you go. And for any home gym, even if you just need one thing, I would I would suggest going to Concept 2 for your ski erg your and your rower. I would suggest going to Assault for your Assault bike, which has the arms, and then the um, uh, treadmill, which is the Assault runner. I would suggest going to Oxfit for, again, it's the only tool out there, but that is what I would suggest for that. I would suggest your power blocks for any dumbbell need. Any dumbbell need. It is the best in class across the board. And then your dumbbells, your bands, your med balls, I would also suggest getting there. And then if you're looking for a barbell, a rack of any type, uh, the weight plates to go on the barbell, that's where I would go to Titan first and then Rogue second. Rogue is going to be a little bit more expensive than Titan is, hence the difference. But when you're going through it, concept if you want to use the discount code, use the code own it. If you want to go to assault, remember it's own it bike for own it bike for the for the, the assault bike. It's own it rower for the rowing machine. And then if you go to power block, it's own it 10. So I wanted to make sure you guys had this one to make sure you guys had everything you needed when you're building out your gym, because I want you to be able to have something that's useful, something that's functional. I, I see it so often people go and they buy things and they buy these band sets or they buy these weird dumbbells offline that they think they're going to get so much use out of. They buy this cheap bike that they think they're going to use all the time and then ends up just being something for uh, clothes to sit on. When you get what you need, it's amazing how you get inspired to actually go and use it. When you get the proper equipment, it's amazing how it makes training fun because you have the ability to actually train the right way. And so these are the things that I would use. These are the companies I would suggest. And if you desire or need anything else, I want you to send us an email at justinr at ownitcoaching.com. justinr at ownitcoaching.com so that we can help either design your space or give you a little bit more insight as to where you can go to make sure that you have everything you need because I want you to have the best setup that you're going to ultimately use on a day-to-day -day basis because we know that when you build something intentionally and you use it consistently, the outcomes that you desire are inevitable and that's how you live different. Success is different, so own your different. We'll see you guys next week.